we're looking at doing is making an egg carton chariot. So we're going to end up with something that looks a bit like this that we'll put on top of our sphero. Okay, so we've got a cavity in the bottom here. We've got some wheels that are going to turn around so that the uh, chariot can drive along. So let's have a look at how we're going to make it. Now, first off, before you actually are doing anything, we really need to have a design. So I've done a couple of designs here and I've chosen the uh, ladybird one but uh, it really could be either of them and you might choose something completely different but it's a really good idea to start off with a design. So get yourself an egg carton. You want one that's going to have at least six or uh, sorry at least uh, 10 or 12 eggs in it so that it's going to be big enough. We're going to chop a whole area of this out to be able to make the cavity. If you want to peel off the paper I've done that on this one. That's a good idea to be able to do. Now one of the first things I like to do is to think about where the wheels are going to go uh, at which end they're going to go and I'm going to poke those through. So uh, in this one I'm going to put the wheels on the back here. So I'm going to open it up and we want a bamboo skewer. Now bamboo skewers you can buy for about two dollars for a couple of hundred so they're very very cheap and we're going to use that nice sharp end there to make a hole through for the wheels. Now the way we're going to do that we don't come from the outside but we come from the inside and we want to line it up so that it's going to go through the gap. And I just poke a hole through that way. And once I've got that hole in I can now come from the outside and I'm going to go backwards. So now I'm going to be able to go down through that hole and line it up again on the other side and poke it through. And that's given me the axle for my wheels. Okay so let's have a look at the wheels. Now for the wheels we're just going to use some milk bottle tops. These ones are quite nice because they've actually got a little indentation in them. So I'm going to drill a hole through the top of those and you always want to be drilling onto something. Don't try drilling into your hand because you'll put a hole through your fingers. So make sure you're perpendicular, line up in the center and hold it and straight through. Don't spend too much time and it's through. And what that will do is it will give you the wheel. I'm going to take my axle back out, poke it through the hole, and it's nice and stiff because we want this wheel to turn the whole axle. Go back through the hole that I've just made in my carton, and take my other wheel, and pop it on the end. Now, once you've got those on, make sure they're not in too, too close, otherwise it's going to rub. You might find that you get a bit of friction in there. If you've got a bit of friction in there, you're going to have to cut that out a little bit. Okay, so uh, if that can spin freely, it'll loosen up a little bit later on, then you're ready to go on to the next part. So what we want to do now is we want to chop out this bottom end around the front here for the sphero to be able to fit in. So we're just going to stab a hole in the side and then just cut around. So you're better off using scissors than you are using a box cutter or a knife because this kind of cardboard is a bit of a slip. So I'm just cutting down onto the V there and I'll turn around and I'll come back from the other way. Over the top and down to the base. And there we are. And so that's the hole that I need. Now this little piece there. I usually find that if I press that in, it just makes enough room for the sphero to fit in. And trim that down a little bit, give it a bit of extra room. And down the other side. There we are, and it's now ready for decoration. So what you're looking at, you've got your similar sort of thing happening there. We've got our cavity. Put our wheels on, got a little bit of a sharp piece at the end there, just snap that off. Don't cut it off with scissors because you'll find you'll break the scissors. So just snap it with the fingers. And remember if we have a little bit of friction there, we could just chop a little bit of that off as well. Just to give it a bit of space to be able to rotate. And there is your Scurio Chariot ready for decorating. Now one other thing I've done on this one is I've got a little flap here. And the reason for that flap is so that we'll be able to see into the uh, where the sphero is to be able to line it up. So you'll find that you probably need that. Just press in and we'll just cut a little slot 
that it's uh, best to do this now before you do the decoration. And that'll just let you look inside to see the sphero when you're aligning it. And that's it. Wow, wow, wow.